Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. Well, guys, in our series of podcasts, we are back with another podcast. And in this podcast, we'll be talking about the interview experience of Atlassian. We'll be talking about the journey of Harshit, who got an opportunity at Atlassian as a software engineer, being from a tier three college. So I believe his journey, his experience is going to be really helpful. So make sure to be with us till the end of this video. Well, let's get started. Uh, thank you so much, Harshit, for accepting my invitation and being here on my channel. It's a pleasure to have you here. and i believe your journey your experience is going to be really helpful for the audience so can you please start with your introduction sure uh, thanks so much for having me uh, hi everyone i am harshit uh, and i am from delhi and i have studied uh, my bachelor's in technology from maharaja agrasen institute of technology which is which comes under ip university i graduated last year only and mm -hmm. last year was the first time when i joined at last year and it has been one year at atlassian and i am a software engineer there and it has been a great journey i have learned a lot of things and that is all which i'll be sharing uh, today in this session also uh, you can all reach me out on the linkedin and i have a youtube channel as well uh, somya will be providing links for all of these things so you can yeah, reach me out there sure sure yeah guys so he is creating amazing content whether it's on linkedin or on youtube channel as well so i'll be providing both the links in the description so you can just connect over there so again thanks arshit for specifying these things so how you got this opportunity like was it an on campus opportunity or off campus opportunity for you yeah so it was an on campus opportunity and it was the very first time that atlassian was going to visit our college okay. uh, yeah so it was an on campus opportunity. but there are off campus opportunities as well you can ask for mm -hmm. referral uh, via link and i have shared video on all these processes as well so you can check that okay got it got it so like how many rounds were there if you can specify the number of rounds and you know one by one you can elaborate about them what was the difficulty level and uh, let's say for any specific round there were some questions so what do you think what was the cut off so that the people the students can get the clarity about it so uh in atlassian there were actually four rounds uh mm -hmm. so the first one was online coding round that mm -hmm. included of uh three questions uh i think and that was a 12 hour window so mm -hmm. i solved three all the three questions and the students that were selected i think all of them have solved three questions like i think the cut off was three questions only or mm -hmm. at most you can solve two questions and have the test cases like for example there are 12 test cases then you can solve at least 10 Uh, complete at least ten test cases of that. Then I think you will be shortlisted for the for this round. So I think the cut off was at max two test two questions and ten test cases or all the three questions. This okay. was the online coding round. Uh, it was not much difficult round. Like it had ad hoc questions and some questions were there from trees and graphs. Like trees, mm -hmm. graph, DPs. These are the most common topics that are being asked in the companies. so these were the very common topics uh, and you can get some specific questions uh, available on linkedin and other platforms as well uh, wow. apart from that like this was the first round the second round was a uh, face to face coding interview now this uh, the first round was hap like happened on one particular day all the other three rounds happened on one single day like okay. face to face coding interview was the second round okay. then there was system design round and then there was hr and managerial so all these mm -hmm. rounds were like all these round happened on one single day only now in face to face coding interview uh, i was given one single problem firstly i was asked for introduction in the uh, brief intro part and then i was given a basic problem uh, mm -hmm. problem which had two parts uh, like the first one was easy and the second one was a bit difficult part so as and when when the interview progressed i was able to get through the approaches of uh, both of the parts and uh, i was able to tell the process and that's how my first round got cleared now mm -hmm. this is an elimination round like if you do not clear this round you will not get the mail of the second round so mm -hmm. you will have to wait for the mail and if you don't get it then this means that you are not selected so i got the mail of this round uh, like for the selection of second round so uh, the second round was a um, system design round and in that i was asked questions on building a particular app like how the system design of that app works 
how the API calls are made and how the database designing is there, all these sorts of questions. It was a basic uh, discussion type of uh, interview in which I was mm -hmm. uh, explaining some things. They were also explaining me like why all these things were happening. So yeah, it was a discussion and it was a good round. This was also an elimination round. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't clear this round, you will not get the mail of this third round, which was the managerial and HR round. I cleared this round. It was all these interviews were for one hour only. Mm -hmm. Now the last round was managerial and HR. In that round, uh, I was asked basic questions around my resume and the previous internships or projects that I did. So it was also a good round. But uh, some of the students think that HR rounds are usually not elimination rounds. But this was an elimination round. Like Atlassian cares a lot on values. Like the like the employer will be joining Atlassian. Atlassian cares about a lot that they should be coming into the values which Atlassian has. So that is why this is also an elimination round. And if you clear this round, uh, they just assess you on the basis of your responses and they, they go deep dive into your projects and all these things. So do not try to fake any information uh, in your resume. Like that is a basic pointer. So mm -hmm. yeah, this was the last round in Atlassian. And yeah, after that, I got my selection okay okay great uh thanks for explaining so well well as you specified the system design round well basically this round was not included for fresher because you got this opportunity as a fresher only so this question is there uh yeah, you yeah. Know, in, in many students mind so i have this that you know uh as you have been through this round so what sort of knowledge because you are you haven't got the industry exposure so what do you believe what sort of knowledge what kind of basic things one should be aware of to clear this round as a fresher. So, uh, like how I prepared, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of YouTube videos on how to answer a particular system design question, like mm -hmm. how to, uh, get through the approaches. Like firstly, like there is an approach to answer a particular system design question. You cannot just directly start with high level design or low level design. The firstly, mm -hmm. you have to explain the database designing. Then you have to know how the API calls are made. Like basic things should be known by you from the freshers. These basic things are the one that matters the most. Like if you go as an experienced engineer, then only you will be, uh, drilled more on what database should be used or what would be a more appropriate database, like all these things, but mm -hmm. as an fresher or as a as a person who is joining a particular company as a grad only a uh, graduate only then the basic things matters the most like you know how the database designing is there you know how the api calls are being made then you know what uh, issues will be when scaling or uh, increasing our uh increasing a up so all these things matter the most uh when you are applying as a fresher and these basics is what you should learn for or you should aim for learning got it got it so you specify uh, regarding the system design part so basically like dsl was also in the picture so if you can just give a you know a quick idea about the resources that you followed and that has helped you uh, for the for your placement journey for your placement preparation so uh i mean geeks for geeks is always there like any doubt you have you can go to geeks for geeks and they mm -hmm. have a lot of like there that is the whole encyclopedia for dsa so you can get all the resources all the uh, all the things or all, all your doubts cleared from there. But, uh, mm -hmm. af apart from this, I basically used interview bit for my questions and lead code for my questions in lead code. There were weekly challenges and bi weekly challenges. I used mm -hmm. to solve that. It consists of four questions. Like firstly, I was able to do one or two questions only. Then with practice, I was able to do three questions. And the fourth question is a bit harder on the harder side. So yeah, that comes after practice only. So you have to do uh, regular challenges on LinkedIn, uh, sorry, or regular challenges on lead code only. Mm -hmm. And uh, interview bit has a structured uh, training. Like firstly, there are levels going on. So you can try that also. Like it helped me a lot because there were a lot of questions uh, which were similar to which were there in interview bit. Like it consists of limited questions. And that is why I also like interview bit as well. So these were the two main resources which I followed. Uh, interview bit, lead code. And uh, all the doubts which I had, like all the documentations which I wanted to read, it was from Geeks for Geeks. Apart from okay. this, I have, uh, like, there were challenges on Code Chef and Code Courses as well. That mm -hmm. comes on a bit of CP part, uh, competitive programming part. But mm -hmm. I mean, if you are trying to solve that also, like, it 
um, basically increases your uh, ability to solve questions within a limited time. So yeah, I used to do that as well. Got it. Got uh, it. Thanks. Got thanks for uh, specifying these resources, and I believe yeah, they are very helpful. So I think these were some of the questions that I that I was willing to discuss with you, and again, you have answered them so well. But in case guys, you are having any doubt, anything, you can directly reach out to him over LinkedIn as I specified. Uh, but uh, before wrapping up this video, Harshit, I would like to know if you have any advice or anything that you want to share with the audience. advice okay um so my first advice would be like be patient uh mm -hmm. don't be very sad or very depressed like if you are not getting your jobs or your interviews cleared during your initial phases i mean mm -hmm. that is a process which you have to go through uh, firstly you will face rejections i have also faced rejections in a lot of companies believe me when i say this so uh, like rejections are a part of your a uh, journey right so don't mm -hmm. be afraid of rejections i mean they will come like it is very easy to say that rejections you should not fear from rejections but actually when you get those rejections that is the main point when you have to tackle them so don't be disheartened like try in a lot of companies you will definitely get placed in one of the good companies if you are determined enough so you have a lot of time and it is not like if you are not getting into one single company that means that world is ending so uh believe in yourself and yeah one day you will clear uh, the your dream company of yours so don't be disheartened by the failures is what i can say Got secondly it. i think uh, follow all these secondly i think i can say follow all these uh, resources and try to increase your skills like practice gain and day out and at the end of the day you will be a good candidate for the company so got it uh, thanks for thanks for these advices really helpful well it was great talking with you and i got a chance to learn from your journey from your experience thank you for sharing um, okay then uh, bye bye